If you're struggling to get your first client or even additional new clients, I'm going to give you 10 ways to grow exponentially and start getting new people in the door that want to do business with you. My name is Harrison Barron from growth-generators.com. Like I said, in this video, 10 different ways. It is the is just a super powerful video and it is going to get you launched in the right direction. But before I get into that material, as always, two quick things. Number one, masterclass as always down below the new recording. I have already said this in the past, but uh, I messed up. I, I've learned things about myself that I can't do and the old recording got messed up. So we're re-recording it now. It's going to be even better. But depending on when you watch this, you're going to want to go check that out. Second, come hang out with us in the Discord. It is a fantastic community, extremely fast growing of people that are in the MSP world that either want to improve their businesses. It's not all about sales and marketing, but it's also the tech side of it too. Come hang out with us. We're a bunch of great people and I even hang out in there every once in a while as well to add some additional value. So Let's talk about it. 10 ways to help you grow your business and get either your first or new clients in the future. Number one, which is completely free, is going to be content marketing and SEO, search engine optimization. Now, it does take a little bit of time. There is no lying about that. But if you are dead broke and you have no money, content marketing is key. The one thing I will say, and I'm going to share my screen right now, is if you have the finances to do so, which it's a fairly cheap book, it's about $22 hardcover. I'm an audiobook person. Read this book. They ask, you answer. It is a fantastic book about creating content. There is no better book, in my opinion, that covers it as in-depth or as thoroughly. This is on. This is the first book I started with, and this is a regular read for me every single year, bar none. And the reason why I mention this is because creating content, really understanding what your target customer is asking, and then creating content in regards to it is the best way to do it. It is a long-term growth strategy, but depending on where you're at, it could be the best thing for you. Second, I've already talked about networking events and meetups, especially your local chamber of commerce. But people said, hey, I don't have money for that. First of all, your first one or two meetings are usually free to attend. You don't have to pay any money. You don't have to join. They usually just want to open their arms and let people in and come see if it's really worth it for them to join. But if you're not in that boat or you don't have the cash for it because you're just starting up and you're getting your first client, you need to go check out meetup.com. Now, I, truth be told, live in an area called Belmont, which is right next to Charlotte, North Carolina, and I'm doing this in real time so you can see. Let's just search tech because I've, I mean, I've already done this, but you can find tech just about anywhere. There are virtual events. There are local events. You can go through any of these. Most of them are completely free. Or if you go there and they're at like a bar or something like that, you just got to pay for whatever you consume. But for the most part, these are usually free. There are so many tech meetups. Or if you're crazy or you want to just go to Google and search tech meetups near me and you'll find those, you'll find events. I mean, there's events all over the place. You can go find events literally anywhere out there. Spend the time, do your research, go find events. It's the best place to shake hands, meet people, and go just get in front of your potential target customer. Next is going to be finding partnerships and people that can use your services, and more importantly, that you can refer out to. I've talked about this as well in a couple of videos, but I don't think people really understand it. You're an MSP, a managed service provider. You provide technology services, specifically being proactive support, number one, and two, making sure that people don't get hacked. Cybersecurity, totally, you can go pretty deep into that, but that's really what they're calling you for. They want to make sure that their computers work and they're not going to get hacked all over the weekend. So how do we find those partners? Find businesses that you complement. In most cases, digital marketing. I live near Charlotte. I would search digital marketing, Charlotte, North Carolina. And I would call every single one of these businesses and show up. Call them, book some time on their calendar, talk to them, figure out who they are. And this is just one example of a complimentary business. You can have digital marketing. You can have low voltage. You can have electricians. You can have office managers. The list goes on and on and on. But you, yes, you're going to be cold calling these people, but you're not trying to make a sale. You're just trying to get in person, shake their hands and say, hey, it is very nice to meet you and look at them in, I'm looking at a camera, but you would look at them in their eyes. I know that sounds so silly, but if you could partner with complimentary businesses, 
the the opportunities are nearly endless. It is truly, truly, truly incredible. Next is going to be finding online communities and online forums. In this case, if you haven't joined the Discord already, which is totally free, growth-generators.com forward slash Discord. I pulled up Discord as a representation of forums in your local area. You're just going to want to look up your local area and forums or go on Facebook and start to look for for Facebook groups in your specific area. I live in a small town called Belmont, so we have the Belmont Insider. There are 12,000 people in here. You can look for buy sell groups. Sometimes they allow some business promotion in there and start messaging people in there or tell people, hey, I have a new business. This is what I'm doing. Can I help anybody in there? I promise you out of 12,000 people, somebody, at least one person is currently experiencing an issue as you are watching this video. I know it sounds crazy, but there are so many opportunities. Next is going to be finding local business directories. Yes, Yellow Pages, as old as it may be, and some of you might not even know what Yellow Pages is, still exists, but they have gone digital. You should look for all the local di directories that you possibly can find, Yellow Pages probably being the number one, but pair Yellow Pages with a Google My Business. Pair Yellow Pages with other business directories. Just Google business directories in North Carolina, business directories in Florida, wherever you are located, search them, fill out the information. They want to mention your business because the more people that they get, the more money that they get from advertising. So they want your information inside of there. There is no doubt about it. Next is going to be cold emailing or just email marketing in general. Now, this helps tremendously if you have a little bit of money to go through it. You do have to pay for instantly, but you could 100% go look for all of these businesses, load up their websites and find their contact area. See if they have an email outreach. In this case, contact at overtopmedia.com. Perfect. Start emailing them. You can email other businesses in your area. And it, yeah, we will be cold emailing. But if you're not sending hundreds of cold emails per day and you're sending a couple dozen, look for businesses in your area that you could do business with. See if they have a public email address and either call them or email them. There is so much opportunity there. It is mind blowing to me. Next is going to be, if you have the ability to, offering your services to nonprofits for free. Yes, sometimes you have to give a little to get a lot. In this case, helping other small businesses or nonprofits doing work for free for them is an easy way to get in. I promise you, there are tons and tons of non for profits that would happily, and this is just Charlotte, that will happily accept your money, your, your, not even your money, but your time and effort to go help them. I promise you, just on this page alone, there's probably 20 businesses. I guarantee you, one person at all 20 of these has some kind of technology issues that you can help and go resolve. Next is also going to be getting out and, and guest blogging and guest podcasting or guest appearances. A great place to guest blog is a place called Harrow. Help a reporter out. You are a source. You're going to go fill out their paperwork. It's usually about 30 seconds of paperwork. It's fairly easy. And you are going to get an email three times per day. Respond to all of the requests. These are reporters that are out there that say, hey, we need an expert to give us insight on something very specific. Find the ones where you are the expert write something. My name is this. We run this business. This is something really interesting. Boom. And give them four or five sentences. What's going to happen is these get published all over the place from Forbes to Entrepreneur Magazine. I mean, the, the list goes on and on and on. If you can help a reporter out and yeah, you might have to do this quite a few times, but help a reporter out. Other people are going to start to see your brand and start to be attracted back to you. This is a longer term play, full transparency, but it works really really, really well. Now, if that's not enough for you, we also have being a guest on podcasts. Just search on Facebook, be a guest or podcast guests or something of that nature. This is one of the many groups that are out there. Podcast guests, collaboration community, find a guest, be a guest. There will be a link down below so you don't even have to go look for it because I am that nice. And you could go through these. All of these people in here are looking for either to be a guest on somebody's podcast or to have to or they're looking for a guest. Post on there who you are, what you do, and you never know what could come out of it, but you can start to go get more people to see you on a regular basis, which is really what's important here. And then the last kind of couple are really important. 
One, you can host an online workshop or webinar. You can just go create a webinar, host it on Zoom. You don't have to even pay for Zoom. You can do it in 40 minutes if you really want to, or create content and to let people know about it, whether that's writing an email, calling them, whatever it might be, to get as many people into that, preferably live webinar so you can address it in person and be a super helpful resource. Is it a lot of work? Yes, it is. Is owning a business a lot of work? Yes, it is. Is it the best way to make a lot of money and and grow? Absolutely. You have to give a little bit. Create something truly, truly incredible that nobody else has seen before, not something cookie cutter or super generic, something really valuable. Ask, cold call, email, whatever it takes for you to get in front of your target customer and let them know about it so they can sign up, register, and you'd be so surprised how many people will actually take you up on them. And last but not least, build a referral program. Hey, if we get a new customer, I'm going to give you a $1,000 or whatever it is. Come up with something super catchy. If your friends and family don't want to support you because they're, they like you, I promise you, they're going to support you for money. All of a sudden, they know a bunch of people if they know that they're going to make a couple hundred dollars or a couple thousand dollars for making a referral to their cousin. You never know what's currently out there. Come up with a banger referral program. One that people are like, damn, that's really good. When you ha- when somebody says that, you know that you've struck gold. And yes, you can offer. It might be your first month. Yeah, you might have to do a free work for a month, but you're getting your first customer. It's a lot of work. But I promise you, between my last video covering some of these and this video completely new and fresh, you can go close clients. But get creative. You got to work hard. You can't just call everybody. Call them two or three times. Be aggressive. Be, be aggressive. Smash the like button. Smash, smash the like button. I I need to get out more. But call people up. This is a weapon for sales. Make cold calls. Search your target business. Get your buyer persona. Link down below. Fill that out. Figure out who you would love to do business with. And Google those people. Call, email. Try to find them at meetups. There are so many opportunities out there. You just have to lift every single rock and look for them. I promise you, you will get clients. The first one, zero to one is the hardest. And after that, they become easier and easier and easier. So I implore you, there is so much opportunity out there. Strap in, get ready, do everything you possibly can, join the community, ask for help. People are willing to help you. This video was specifically made to help at least one person, and I know it's gonna help a bunch more. But these, every single thing I've mentioned, other than cold emailing, if you want to pay for that platform, is free. There is no money required. You can go do all of the things with what you have at your disposal. And check out LinkedIn. There's so many people on LinkedIn. Message your target customer. Hey, I'd love to chat. You never know what is going to come of it. There's just so much opportunity out there. I want you to go crush it. I genuinely, genuinely mean that. I think you have it in you and I believe in you. Other than that, I love the heck out of you guys. I appreciate you guys for following along. Hang out in the community, check out the masterclass, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Till then, love you guys.